Demetrius Oriopoulos was born in Alexandropolis, Greece, the 18th child of a large family. They faced war, starvation, and adversity. Against all odds, Demetrius went on to attend medical school where he specialized in nephrology. But his journey was just beginning. After I finished my PhD in Belfast, I was, uh, I thought I had completed my cycle of training. Uh, but deep in my heart, uh, I wanted to go to America. And, that's, uh, and when, when I had an opportunity to, to come to, to, to Toronto, uh, within two weeks, I, I was here. As a new Canadian, there were still challenges ahead for Demetrius, and one in particular he found difficult to overcome. Language, language. Even though I had done the two and a half years uh, in Belfast, uh, language is the biggest problem. Because it was so difficult, he had to work extraordinarily hard. And I think that was part of how uh, uh, he, be he developed his uh, work habits, his work ethic. And work hard he did. At Toronto Western Hospital, Demetrius devoted the next decade to researching and developing new, more humane forms of treatment for kidney patients. His commitment paid off with the discovery of a revolutionary new technique. There was a distinct day that I gave an order to my head nurse, September 27, 19, 1977. I gave an order, do this treatment this way, and she wrote it, and this became the technique that made me famous at that time. The Time magazine wrote about the technique, and even the National Enquirer wrote about the technique. The technique was called ambulatory peritoneal dialysis. Not only was it cheaper, less painful, and more effective than traditional dialysis, it literally returned freedom and quality of life to sufferers around the world. At that time, there were kind of, say, a thousand patients on this technique. Now, there are more than 120,000 patients around the world. In Canada, around 30% of all the dialysis patients are on this treatment. Today, Demetrius is the director of the peritoneal dialysis program at the University Health Network and the Toronto Western Hospital. Recognized internationally for his medical achievements, Demetrius has won over 15 international awards and is credited with introducing peritoneal dialysis for children. This resulted in Demetrius being invited to Brunei to treat the Sultan's niece. He's also been extraordinarily generous on the other hand with taking people from other countries, both developed and so-called uh, less well-developed, and uh, trained them in peritoneal dialysis uh, and in nephrology and sent them back to become uh, leaders in their own areas. A published author and editor, Demetrius has founded and produced three medical journals and authored a children's book called Timothy's Journey, which he wrote for his son. Demetrius has also made equally impressive contributions to the community, from founding the Hellenic Home for the Aged to his long-term presidency of Athens Villa, a not-for-profit housing organization, and establishing community childcare facilities, he has truly lived the life of a humanitarian. I feel the concept of the immigrant who comes here and works hard and tries and succeeds is something that makes me proud. I was always dreaming of becoming a doctor and if I have to start my life again, again I'll become a doctor. That's it.